Hey, welcome back to the channel, Texas Rig. Hey, this is going to be a special kind of video. We are updating the Bonafide SS127, the great blue. If you want to check out my setup that I currently have, I will link the description. Uh, you could check that out as the setup that I've had before. But today, we are adding a game changer. As everybody knows in the fishing world, if you don't have live scope you're already behind so to, this is the year 2022 that we add live scope to the kayak i've looked on youtube there's not a lot of videos out there on the installs uh a lot of questions that i had that i kind of had to research and i was getting all the boat information to transfer over to the kayak information or world and it's kind of difficult but um it's very possible uh just take some imagination uh and we'll we'll make it happen today but we, a Garmin UHD 93 SV on the kayak, as you can see there, Garmin Life Scope. And this is one, this is the older one, it's not the new one that's coming out. This one is the, uh, I guess the LVS 32. Yeah, Life Scope 32. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. And we are going, it's going to be a good video. If you if you want to install live scope, I think this is going to be a good video for you to watch. Uh, not sure how long it's going to be. We'll figure that out in the editing world. But stick to, stay tuned. Um, I'm sure it's going to be educational. Maybe some ideas. If y'all have any comments on anything that I'm doing or any ideas you want to throw at me, hey, I'm open to it. Believe me, I'm never against it. But anyways, stay tuned. If you ever had an idea... Or imagine something something you want to put on a wall something you want to put in your room something that says who you are anything at all and it has to do with any kind of wood hit my buddy up at fo woodworks he can make dreams into reality it his skill is amazing so I wanted to show y'all what he's done for me guys he makes custom plaques he makes cutting boards, he makes anything with wood, and it can make an amazing, amazing things for you. All you have to do is hit him up, give him your idea, and he'll make it happen. He's made this my uh, unit plaque here with the eagle of an anchor, 7th ESP, uh, 1st Marine Division. If you look, the beautiful grain in the wood, the smoothness of the wood, the detail of the etching, the detail of the carving, the detail of the painting, it's beautiful. He can make any dream come to reality. So if y'all are interested, guys, take a look at his Instagram at FO Woolworks. Um, like I said, he does amazing work. I should definitely check out his work. If you're interested, just send him a message and uh, he'll help you out on design whatever you need. Now let's get back to our regular scheduled program. This video is going to take place in my garage and driveway. That's really the only place I can do it that has enough room. I don't have a fancy little building to do it in, but let's see here. What do we need to set up? We need to set up a canopy. We need to set up the kayak. We got tools, table, saw horses to hold up the kayak. Um, let's start with the canopy. The canopy is going to go here, right up here. We're going to work all up in here, but uh, let's make that happen. All right, there it goes. Got the canopy set up. Now, all we need is a kayak. Let's get the kayak over here. Ready? There it is. Got that set up. Business is we're going to mount our fish finder into our dry pod. That's the majority of the work. We're doing the whole rewire because I currently have an, a Lowrance Elite 7 Ti2 uh, mounted on the dry box here that I have now and like this we have the NEMA switch here we have an outlet you know to charge phones or whatever we need to charge and then we have a charging port there so I don't have to take the battery out every time and then a switch for the uh, the uh, fish finder so the plan on the new one is we're gonna put a NEMA switch here in the middle we're probably gonna run the fish finder uh, switch and then we're going to do the live scope switch here. And it's going to be somewhat similar, just moving switches up here more. But 
we are going to rework the dry pod and we're going to put the new fish finder on the dry pod so that's the main main order uh that we're going to be working in but yeah that's what we're working with um we'll see how it goes just let's play with it anyways let's get started Y'all, I can't stress enough about using plenty of this stuff. Let's test the function of it. Make sure that it does fit in there. There we go. All right, there we go. That looks good there. Look under the kayak. See, this was my main concern, but I think that should clear it. center all the way across so we're going to put holes here and here This middle switch is for the fish finder. So what we need to do is we're gonna make these longer by using, we have some 16 gauge wire here. We are gonna extend these uh, just a little bit longer so we can mess with. Solder melting. Try to move it around a little bit. Next step, we're going to connect the live scope switch on. So we're using this just like we did with the NEMA. It's the same thing, we're just going to reverse it. So instead of this screwing on from the pod side, we're going to have the female end on the pod side. And then this will be on the boat. And like I said, just the Connect them, line them up, and connect them. Meter on, off, real simple. Two wires, positive and negative. All right, here's the finished product. There's the front, just clean up. I'm gonna clean up the paper later. 
But, yeah, it's some wires coming out of here, but you'll be fine. But everything's neat, nice and touching, all waterproof. As you can see, we organized the wires. Let's go, battery, everything's connected. I don't ever have to open it. I have easy access to the ones that I have to switch out if I ever need to. And there you go. All right, we're mounting the fish finder bracket to the uh, mount on the dry pod. There we go. All right, next step is working on the kayak. Um, we need to install the uh, box for the live scope and the battery. Man, if only we had a battery. You hear that? I think I hear the doorbell. Hold on. Well, what do you know? We got a battery. It's here. And of course, guys, we we use the code of lithium for all our battery needs. We got the 12 volt 23 amp. That should be plenty of power for us. And we're going to need And this is the box for the life scope VLS 10. So I was thinking it's, everything's going to be in here. I was kind of thinking maybe even like velcroing this to that so it's one unit so I can take it out whenever I need it and just have it you know, just either laying or standing like this. So I'm going to use this side over here for my mount to hold the transducer, still waiting in the mail for that. But I'm going to put another one of these, uh, what are they, Yak Attack mounts here so I can move some of that stuff over here.
side is where I'm going to mount the transducer, so I'm going to have cable coming through here. I don't like that idea, but that's what it's probably going to have to be. So I'm going to put a mount to the transu here with the pole. Oh man, that one's in the middle. When is it going to get here? Wait a minute, do I hear something? Yeah, hold on. Boom, it's here. We got our pole from fish finder or fishfindermounts.com. So from fishmindermounts.com. This is all aluminum pole. So it's really nice. It is a little pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth it at the end. I went ahead and ordered a little perspective mount as well. That way we can get a better view of everything. I'm gonna send you a picture when I'm finished mounting it and oh let me know. It's okay. Alright man. Alright, bye. bye. See, I'm trying to figure this out as we go too guys. I'm a little confused, it's hard for me to picture it, but that was Joe. Y'all know Joe. I gotta learn how to use all of this, but this is the gist of it. All right guys, welcome back to day two of the build. Day two is just organizing wires and finishing up the small stuff. Um, I'm gonna walk you through it on exactly what we did. That way you understand what we did. I know that it was a little quick on the explanation of what I was doing, but this is gonna be the overall uh, look of the kayak for 2022 and probably 2023 and 2024 and 2025 and 2026 it's expensive i don't plan to do anything else but uh let's take a walk through all right this is the kayak setup as y'all know before i run my main battery in the back here and it powers my xi3 in the front here and my lights as you can see but what i did to it was I outed, I added the fish finder mounts. This is their generation three transducer pole. The transducer pole is pretty neat. You have the ability to in and out, whatever distance you want. You can take it out completely so that nobody steals it if you're on an overnight fishing trip. Or you can, when you're in the water, you have the capability to flip it up and out of the way just like so and you can tighten down all the points 
with whatever you need. Here, here, and here. It comes with another uh, piece of pole if you need it longer, but I think this should work. If I'm sitting here, I should be able to control what I'm looking at. Then we ran the wire. We ran this wire here, all along here. We used a Velcro tie. It's a pretty simple tie around this little eye bolt, Yak Attack eye bolt here, just to maintain it. And then we ran our transducer wire inside the kayak. And I notched it out as you can see there. When we look in here, I set the black box on top of my Dakota battery. And then the Dakota battery is Velcroed to a little piece of uh, cutting board, white cutting board. That way, I can remove the battery and the black box when we're doing an overnighter somewhere so nobody steals it. I can take it out, no problem, really easy. I put a quick disconnect power here to the battery to the black box. And then I added this one, quick disconnect here so I can just open my hatch and charge my battery that way. I was going to put one, a port here to charge or here somewhere, but I decided not to do too much damage to this since I'm already putting that little notch in for the transducer cord. But that's everything set up. So all I have to do is just take this off. It, like I said, it's just Velcroed on so it'll come off easily and take everything out and just disconnect. I would have to disconnect just this middle one here, the one that goes to the the graph itself, because that one runs within the kayak over here. And we ran a switch from here to here. As you can see there, this is the switch for that. I will put labels on them. This switch is for the fish finder, and this is for the NEMA system over here, as you can see here. So... That's for the live scope. This is for the fish finder. That's for the NEMA. Let's go ahead and power it up. There we go. Let's say pan optics. There we are. It's just a bunch of static now. Can't see anything unless it's underwater. But there we go. Guys, if you haven't used this, this, this display looks really, really good. It looks really good. But that's that. Maybe we'll do a video on that, explaining that later. There's plenty on YouTube, but we'll see if we can uh, put a little kayak, you know, buzz into it. Uh, we'll see. And then, I didn't explain to you, I also put a charging port here to charge the battery inside the pod. And I went ahead and put a little voltage USB charger there. Just so I can see what the battery is doing. And then this is the inside. As you can see, I have all my wires, they're all zip tied together. So it's all nice and neat. I have a little bag of tools that I might need and batteries and fuses in there. Uh, my blazer light control this is what i use to control the lights and then i keep my remote for my xi30 but that's all there is in there so that's pretty much it there's only really one thing left to do and that's to remove this sticker and put a different one on